guys, so while we're on the topic of uh, incubating and got our incubator going with our silky chicks, um, we've got one of our hens that's broody as well, um, as well as our mama duck who's currently sitting on eggs and probably coming up pretty quick. I think it's been over three weeks, so uh, duck eggs normally hatch after 28 days, so hopefully sometime in the next week um, the duck will have some ducklings following her around. But uh, we also found an extra duck egg that she laid sometime while she was sitting, which I didn't know that they did. Um, but didn't put it in her nest. So we've got a broody hen. So as a little experiment, we are going to try to stick it under the hen uh, and see if the hen will sit on this with the other egg she's sitting on uh, anyway. So we're going to let her keep sitting and try a little experiment. Because why not? So we've got the egg here. I'm probably going to get Peck doing this because she's not very happy when you open this up. But I'm just going to try and somehow nicely slide this underneath her. And she may boot it right out of her little nest. I'm not sure. It may work. It may not. But why not give it a go? So you can see this is the broody mama. It's here. Are you gonna get off for me? I don't know how many eggs she's got under there. Okay, a couple. So I just wanna get this one maybe in the middle. There you go. There you go. Okay, go back down. Go back down. That was easier than I thought. I thought for sure she was gonna peck at me. So again, she may notice that hey, that's not a brown one and, and kick it out of there, but uh, yeah. And the brown eggs obviously aren't going to hatch because we don't have a rooster. So sometimes hens just get broody and sit on the eggs anyways. So um, I think normally we just sort of take those eggs out so she had nothing to sit on and we would eat them. But uh, we're going to try a little experiment for some fun and see if she can hatch and raise a duckling. Okay, we'll leave her alone. Then we'll probably check back in in 20 minutes or so and just see if she's booted that egg out. And we also have our mama duck. She's sitting on her nest in here as well. And we've kind of roped it off so the chickens can't get to her. Um, just we have our ducks and our chickens together. So just so the chickens don't get out, the ducklings hatch. We don't want them attacking the young ducklings or picking on them. So we've kind of got it separated. So she's got her uh, on the area for when they hatch. But she's been doing a great job sitting on there. there. She's making those cute little noises. <laughs> she's left one egg out. I want to know how many she's got underneath her though. Oh, she's got such a beautiful little nest I going know, on. Yeah. Just She's flat in there, keep on warm. Should we take her a little bowl of water and some food? Yeah. It's exciting though. Yeah. I, I want to know how many eggs are in there though. Yeah. But I don't really want to mess with her. No. That's so cute. It is so good. Huh? So exciting, we're getting ducklings. We're bringing our new mom some food and water. Yeah, she's not going to want to move off that nest, so. No, put it right close to her. Hopefully this doesn't disturb her too much, but we figure we better get her some food and water because she could be on there for... It's okay. Oh, that's a good sign she's not moving at all, though. See if, she, see if she'll even hand feed her some food. Maybe. Yeah. yeah, good girl. Good girl. You hungry? You just leave some right in there in front of her. On the hay. Yeah. see a bunch of eggs. Can you see, babe? Yeah, there's four, five, six, seven, eight. It's eight, maybe more. Amazing, that's good news. I was worried she was only gonna have a couple. Oh, I really hope we we're here when they start hatching. I know. Good girl. She's definitely hungry and thirsty, yeah? Yeah, let's just leave the rest there, maybe. Okay, let's leave. Okay, okay. Okay. Hi guys, so another update today. We've got our mama duck who's finally started hatching some of her ducklings. Um, we were a little bit worried about it because it's been well over uh, 
35 days, which is kind of the gestation period for uh, Muscovy ducks. Don't peck my toes. Um, and you can see we've got the two male ducks that are now very interested in what's going on because we've got her separated. Um, we kind of knew they'd started hatching last night, so we came in this morning and we kind of fenced off the top area so chickens and ducks can't get down and bother her or get at the chicks. And one of the male ducks has found his way in there. So we got, uh, got him out and she's hatched a couple um, already. So we'll, we're gonna try and film it and show you, but we're not gonna get in there too much and bother her. And we'll film more once they come out and start going to the pond and different things. But we'll see what we can see and go do uh, a check-in on her. I hope they're guarding them and not looking to get at them. You may not be able to see, probably too much. She's still sitting on it, but. We did see two ducklings uh, under there this morning. There is an egg on the left there that she's kind of kicked out um, for some reason. So I'm not sure if that one didn't hatch or she knew it was a dud, but, uh, or I don't know if the male duck was in there messing with things either. So we'll see, I think we'll leave her for now, give her a little bit more time and we'll uh, check back in this afternoon and see if we can see any little ducklings running around. Yeah, the coop's a little dirtier than uh, we'd normally have it. We haven't wanted to clean in here while, while she was nesting, so it's been 30 days too, so I'll definitely get on that as soon as the, the chicks are out. Can you hear any? See pine cones, that might have been what you oh, saw. Oh, is that it? Oh no, really? One of the eggs yesterday definitely. Well, one, is, one is definitely cracked. Can you see like a And like gone. So I don't know. Oh, well, I think at the front there. Yeah, see it? Yeah, there's one in there. Maybe actually two, maybe. Yeah, I'm not losing it. Let's just uh, leave her. I don't want to stress her out. Yeah. Okay, we'll come check back in this afternoon and see how she's doing. We were so worried we were going to feel so bad if she didn't have any babies after sitting on there for so long. So we've got our other birds locked away this morning because mom is out with her ducklings for the first time. So these are the first birds that were actually conceived and born here and we didn't get eggs from anywhere. and. Mama finally had them. It's been over 35 days, which is kind of nuts. I'm not sure if they're going to be able to make it up that hill, eh? They're trying. Oh my god, this is cute. They're sliding up and down the, the, the rubber. Hi, guys. Can you get up there? No, oh, stay. Take them for a while. Stay for a while. Okay, 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 okay. Hey, hey. Hey, back off. They're fine. <laughs> well, we know she'll protect them against the other birds. It's okay, Mama. Shouldn't have worn flip flops to do this, eh? <laughs> Toe pecked off. So this is kind of the first test, letting her out with her uh, chicks with the other birds. She was pretty protective over me, so a lot more confident now. She'll be able to protect them, which is good. So unfortunately, it looks like only two out of her seven eggs have hatched, so. So we just missed capturing something there, guys, sorry. So the male ducks both seem to be getting along and kind of protecting the little ducks, and the little ducks seem to be following them too, but uh, one of them got away and the chickens definitely pecked it, so we're definitely gonna kind of have to keep an eye on the chickens and make sure they don't get at them.
Sorry, I'm not getting closer footage, but I don't really want to go and stress her out anymore right now. So we're going to finish this week off with our chicken that's sitting on a duck egg, which is a total experiment. Um, like we kind of said at the beginning, she's been sitting on a bunch of eggs which are not fertile because we don't have a rooster. And we stuck one of our fertile duck eggs under there and she's been sitting on it for about two weeks now. But um, we don't want to let her keep sitting on it if it's not developing because then we're just losing eggs. She's not laying eggs um, and we're kind of wasting all the ones that were in there. So we are going to try or I am going to try and pull it out from underneath her without getting pecked and we're gonna go candle it um, and if it's developing then we'll put it back under her and if not we're gonna kind of pull all those eggs out and let her get back to her normal routine but uh, yeah so we'll pull the egg out we're gonna head downstairs we'll show you candling it and we'll see if we have another duckling on the way mama duck is still in here she only had two ducklings out of the seven so um, it'd be nice to have another one but uh, here we go hope I don't get pecked she's been pretty good with me petting her actually when she's on here, so. Hi, sweetie. Are you gonna let me, your one white egg? Huh? You okay with that? Come on. Okay, okay, there you go. That's it. So, it's warm, she's been keeping it warm. Let's go candle it, I don't have my hopes up, but you never know. We'll quickly go candle it and get it back under if it's uh, developing, but uh, if not, then we'll get her on there and get those eggs out of there. Okay, so we're in our spare bedroom here and uh, we've got our kind of incubator with our LED light on, so we're gonna candle it and see if we can see uh, if anything's developing. No idea, we'll see how it goes. We'll turn the light off and uh, show you what we see. Interesting. I would say that's kind of in the middle of what we saw in our other ones, eh? Because like our runner ducks were not that dark in there. How long has it been? Two weeks? Yes. Out of five weeks? Yeah, it's not even halfway to development. And I don't know, it's hard to tell if that's just the yolk or whether that's actually some development. I don't know. We may put this, uh, put this little clip out there to some duck groups and see what they say, but... Uh, I don't see any veins, which is probably something that you would want to look for, eh? Yeah, I'm not optimistic about that, to be honest. I don't see any veins or anything. You can see the lighter part in the bottom, which is what you would expect. It is a lot darker up there um, than we saw in our, our runner duck eggs, which didn't work and didn't take. So we'll probably stick it back under her for now and maybe check again in a week. But uh, yeah, my guess is it's not working, but we'll give it another week and see how it goes. Okay, thanks for following this week. Uh, our duck egg may or may not work under the hen. I don't think so, but we're gonna go put it back under her for now. But uh, we did successfully hatch our five silkies that are here and seem to be doing well. We've got the heat lamp off just so you can see them a little bit better there. because It's a bit of a weird red light, but uh, yeah, all five of them seem to be doing well and chicks outside and hens in the coop and birds everywhere. So we'll keep you posted on this and we'll see you next week. Hit subscribe below and we'll see you soon.